machine rifle to kill 49 people in Orlando. Two years later, a gunman used the same style weapon to kill 17 at Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland. Tonight, NBC2's Dave Elias shows us who is behind this new push and how it would impact current gun owners. A Miami-based political action committee has proposed a constitutional amendment that would ban assault-style weapons like this AR-15 if approved by voters. Shooting is a kind of sport. It's not to kill people. There have been 53 mass shootings in Florida since Pulse nightclub in 2016. 123 people killed. With the Parkland shooting, there's a lot more people that do sympathize with it. So it could be pushed a lot further. The committee ban assault weapons now wants to outlaw semi-automatic weapons and rifles capable of shooting 10 or more rounds at once. Is it any semi-automatic holding more than 10 rounds? Because there are 22 hunting rifles that will carry that much ammunition. He argues magazines which hold the bullets could be altered to make the gun legal to own. All they have to do is put a five-round magazine in it. You can still shoot the same firearm. From gun shops to coffee shops, it's a hot topic. I don't see any reason why anybody should have an AR-15, but I think it's the people's right to decide whether or not to do it. It is the people who could decide if the group gathers enough signatures to get the gun ban on the 2020 ballot. Yes, I would sign a petition to ban them just because I feel like there's no reason for someone to own an assault rifle. It's not just liberal Democrats who seem to support a ban on assault rifles. I think even moderate conservatives such as myself, who I've had conversations with, do feel comfortable with that sort of a, a weapons ban. Now, in 2018, political committees needed some 766,000 signatures to get an issue on the ballot. It's likely they would need more than that in 2020. In Cape Coral, Dave Elias, NBC2. Next at 6, NBC2 investigates.